Welcome back. I am live this morning at day three of the Future Investment Initiative here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. For the first time ever, a robot here was granted citizenship yesterday. It all happened right here in Saudi Arabia. Joining us right now is Uptake Technology CEO and co-founder Brad Keywell. Brad, it is nice to have you on the program. It's pleasure to be here, Maria. Yeah, great to see you. Here we are in Saudi. You co-founded and sit on the board of a number of manufacturing and technology companies. And you founded a ton of companies, including Groupon, yes. we should say. Um, talk to us about artificial intelligence. I feel like if you're not using AI, you're going to be left behind. I do think that the next, the fourth industrial revolution is about unleashing not just people's best, but the best of what data and the machines around us can tell us to make people even better. And so this is core to what's happening in technology. And so we're one of the, one of the leaders that's taking this idea and making it actionable. A, a quick example is yeah, in the world of, of locomotives, we actually give the operators of locomotives a health score. So they know before they deploy that locomotive to go from one city to the next, they know that it won't break. Hmm. So the philosophy is that things shouldn't break. And in this emerging industrial revolution, we will all be better off because our assets, our industries will be more productive, more reliable, and, and really safer, which is a big part of our value proposition as well. I could totally see yeah. that because you've got sensors basically checking it, 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 the, the safety and the health of whatever it is. And, and that even applies to human beings, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah we, we can all be better. So it's what's the operating system to make us better? And as it relates to our personal lives, there's an operating system on our phones. As it relates to our industries and business, especially manufacturing and some of the uh, utilities that run our world, the operating system has to start with sensors, sensor gener generated data, and then be deployed. And that's what Uptake is exclusively focused on, is turning that possibility into action. So Uptake Technologies, it's used in a range of, uh, of products and industries we know from energy to aviation, employing 800 people, $2 billion uh, valuation there. Let's talk about the bad news, okay? And that is robots are probably going to replace humans, aren't they? I disagree, obviously. Okay. <laughs> you know, my, disagree. My, my idea is, and, and what we're proving out, is that people are, uh, humans are made superhuman through the intelligence that can be derived from these sensors. And there is a clear argument that gets, that, that gets made about the possibility that there'd be no humans, that there'd be just autonomous everything. But these are, you know, the, the, the art of extracting minerals from the ground and the art of producing oil and, 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 and the rest this is something that has historically involved humans and I just don't see that changing. I do see humans and the people that are part of these industries elevating their skills. I do see technology like we make it uptake, making them even better at what they do. And I also see a new philosophy that there's going to be winners and losers. And that's part of my admiration for the Crown Prince and what's happening here in the kingdom, which is there's a commitment to be at the forefront in a leadership role as it relates to deploying predictive analytics into industry and smart cities, which we talked about as well. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that that's something that he's committed to. I know. He said that the other day on the panel. And this is going to be probably one of the most innovative cities we've ever seen, yeah. by the way. But Masa from SoftBank also was on my panel on, on Tuesday, and he said at some point there will be more robots than humans. I don't know. You don't think know. so? No. Uh, I, I, I Even don't, if it's the same I, amount, I do it's, not envision, it's, it's amazing. I don't, I don't envision a city with robots, with more robots moving around the streets than, than people. I do envision cities that have operating systems like Uptake that are optimizing every aspect of that city, that are more uh, environmentally responsible. That makes sense. That are more, the traffic moves more fluidly, that everybody's life is improved based upon people being smarter, deriving data from all the ambient yeah. activities. So, Is it more cost effective, Brian? Absolutely. With technology, I mean, yeah. What we're seeing in actual deployments in some of these industries like aviation and rail and construction is that the return on investment of, uh, when you buy up takes products, you're talking three, five, seven, ten X return if you're the company buying our software. So it's an extraordinary time in the world of technology and as an entrepreneur to find a, an ability to impact real industries the way we have. That's 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 extraordinary. Fascinating stuff, Brad. You'll have to come back and tell us all about Happy it. Happy to. Thank you so much okay, for joining for us. Me. Brad Keywell from Uptake.